Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are now officially in the month of July 2024, which first of all, I just want to start off off the bat. Um, I will not be doing a, uh, a video recapping all the movies and series I watched in June, just because I had a really busy month and really did not watch a whole lot. Um, you know, just a quick little recap if you want. I watched for the first time um, About Time. Loved that movie. Fantastic. I uh, rewatched Inside Out before I watched Inside Out 2. I watched Strays for the first time. And, uh, well, that, that, that was about it. Um, you guys know I watched The Bear. I did a review on that. Uh, but today we are talking specifically movies. And, uh, again, we're in July. We are over halfway through the year now. Summer movie season is here in full force. And uh, so I figured this is a great time to go ahead and do a little best movies of 2024 so far so then uh because you know obviously at the end of the year we'll do a, a top 10 movies of the year and um you know some of the movies that so far are my favorites of the year may not still be that high up by the time we reach the end so i still want to give some shout outs and some recognition to some of my favorite movies of the year so far so let's go into this um not really in any particular order i was going to do a top five but Snuck a couple extra in there. Uh, but, I mean, obviously, number one, though, it is Dune Part 2. Oh, my God, what a fantastic movie. Um, you guys know if you watched my review, I just gushed about this film. I, I had so much fun with it. It was an amazing cinematic experience. Um, so, so much better than the first movie. Um, and just a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed Dune Part 2. Um Inside Out 2. This was another one that was really so much fun. I mean, the first movie I really love and, you know, I grew up with that film. Um, if you watch my review for the movie on the channel, you know I actually prefer the sequel. I actually really liked Inside Out 2 more, um, surprisingly. Uh, mainly because of the complexities that are introduced with our emotions. Um, specifically, Anxiety, just the visual representation of anxiety in this film is so beautiful, so brilliant, and just the whole movie is just incredibly, incredibly relatable. Um, but it's also funny, it's also really fun um, and really creative with the different um, aspects of Riley's mind that are in play here. It's just a really great film. Now, one of my favorites of the year is the fall guy. Oh, it really, really disappoints me how bad this bombed at the box office because this movie was supposed to kick off the summer movie season and uh, then it just performed horribly, um, which really sucks because it's a great movie and it was a great experience in the theater. Um, I've rewatched it again, actually. I've, I've seen it three times now and just, man, I love me some Ryan Gosling and he is full Ryan Gosling in this film. Um, literally me, what can I say? Um, but dude's just hilarious. And his chemistry with Emily Blunt, it's a great rom-com. It's a great love letter to the stunt community. Um, it, again, it's just fun. Because these these movies aren't necessarily like, oh, the best of the year. But they're the ones I, I enjoyed the most. That I left the theater going, I want to watch that again. Or I had a lot of fun with that. That was a great experience. And that was really what I had with The Fall Guy. It was just fantastic. Uh, Love Lies Bleeding. Uh, this one I wouldn't say I had fun with uh, because it's a dark movie. But it's a really great film. Uh, A24. Um, a bit of an underrated one. Um, it has a little bit of a divisive ending, which I will agree. And I did mention it in my review that... This certain moment at the end was a little, little bit of an odd choice. Uh, but the build up to it, man, the the thriller, the suspense, the the mystery aspect of this was just so so cool to witness all of it unfolding. The love story between these two characters, the chemistry between Kristen Stewart and Katie O'Brien is great. Um, and again, I I don't really love horror, and I wouldn't really consider this horror, but it is very much a a thriller um, dark movie. Um, and that's usually not the kind of film that I usually gravitate towards. Uh, but I really loved this film. It was really a great time. Um, then we have if, which a lot of people are, aren't really 
putting on their like top movies of the year so far, uh, which I guess is understandable. It is a little like basic, I guess, but f- for a kids movie, it was really fun. It made me cry. It was. I feel like it kind of, in a way, is like a a, a live action Inside Out kind of in a way, or like a live action Pixar movie. It's really emotional. It's really touching. Um, really hit home for me um, with a certain couple aspects. It was just a great film and I think really underrated. Now Sasquatch Sunset again is also underrated. Like nobody went to see this film, but um, here we are. It was a hilarious movie, uh, but also really, you know, emotional at moments as well. Just so interesting. No dialogue in the film. Just these four Sasquatches, just this little Sasquatch family, just living their life, just being curious about stuff, um, seeing the the remnants of humanity and the effect that they have had on the wilderness. Uh, it was really fascinating. It was a really fascinating film, um, and I highly recommend it if you haven't seen it yet. And I know most people have not seen it, but it was great. I really enjoyed it. Um, so those are, I think the best, not again, not the best movies, but my favorite movies of 2024 so far in my personal opinion. Again, obviously share your own opinions in the comments below. What are your favorite movies of the film of the year so far? There are obviously some I haven't seen yet, uh, that I'd like to, I'd like to see Monkey Man at some point, uh, Kinds of Kindness. Um, there's a lot of great films out there from this year that I haven't had the chance to see yet, but I'm looking forward to. Uh, but for now, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And thanks so much for watching. Please drop a give enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so I keep it a date on everything goes on in the movie life.